sorry for all of you who are participating remotely. You missed the first part, but here we are at the prayer of the faithful. As Jesus invites us to follow him, we turn our hearts and minds to our merciful Father and present our petitions to him. For our holy church, may the Lord mend the wounds of sin and abuse and bring healing and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For elected and appointed leaders, may God give them eyes to see those in need and hearts to serve them first. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who lack adequate housing or shelter, may the Lord protect and sustain them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this community of worship, may God's love bind us more closely to each other and bring relief to any who are suffering in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have passed away in the hope of eternal life, may they soon find peace and joy in God's presence in heaven, most especially for Barbara Smith, remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? Almighty and eternal God, in your infinite mercy, please hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. <clears throat> May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Jesus the Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The second verse of number 208. Praise to the Lord, who shall prosper our work and defend us. Surely his goodness and mercy shall daily attend us. Ponder anew what the Almighty can do. Will be friends.